So today I'm talking about a P0223 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0223 code? Well, it's the throttle pedal position sensor switch B circuit high. And what does this mean? Well, basically engines have what's called a throttle body that controls all the air going into the engine. The throttle body has this little butterfly plate and this opens up as the gas pedals pressed and lets more air go into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, well, they used the cable down on the gas pedal. So when the pedal was pressed, the cable would pull up at the throttle body and would open up that butterfly plate to let more air in. And there's what's called a throttle position sensor, which just reports back to the computer the location of that butterfly plate. Many newer vehicles nowadays, they got rid of this cable and they just have a sensor down on the pedal. And this sensor reports to the computer how much the pedal was pressed on, which then controls the throttle body with the small motor. Basically, they got rid of that cable that used to run up to the throttle body. It will vary a little bit on the type of system that's inside the vehicle. There may be a cable going down to the gas pedal and up to the throttle body. And there will be a throttle position sensor located on the throttle body, but there may or may not be an accelerator pedal position sensor. Like I said, it's going to vary, but when you get a P0223 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem inside of this circuit. Is that the voltage is high at the throttle position sensor or at the accelerator pedal position sensor. So it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P0223 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a dirty throttle body. Basically, when these get really dirty and they get a lot of buildup on them, it can throw those sensors off and cause strange things to happen. So if you could go look at your throttle body and check to see if it is really super dirty, if there's any buildup on it, sometimes it could get pretty bad. And if it does look really dirty, you could buy some throttle body air intake cleaner. And basically you spray down in there and you clean it up real good. You can also use like a small toothbrush or something like that to help clean it up because a dirty throttle body can cause issues. One thing to mention is that if you do clean up the throttle body, when you first start up the vehicle, it can run badly for like 30 seconds to a minute until all that throttle body cleaner is burnt away. But after that, it should run better. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is a dirty throttle body. The next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor. This is going to be located up at the throttle body. And the throttle position sensor just reports back to the computer how open this butterfly plate is inside of here. And if that goes bad, then it's going to cause issues. And so the next thing on the list is going to be a bad throttle position sensor. The next thing on the list is going to be a bad accelerator pedal position sensor. And like I said before, your vehicle may or may not have one of these. This is becoming more and more common in newer vehicles, but it's really going to vary. So you may not have one, but if you do have an accelerator position sensor, that's going to be the next thing on the list. It's going to be that it's gone bad. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's a wiring problem. There's an open, there's a short, there's some kind of problem going on inside of there. If you go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get a diagram or a schematic for your particular vehicle. Since again, there can be differences. But one thing you could do is you could use a multimeter and you could check to see if you're getting good voltage on that circuit. It's very common for these circuits to have five volts going to them, but be sure to check your schematics. But it is very common for five volts to be going to these. And basically you put the key like in the on position, you check to see that if you're getting five volts on that circuit and that it's not too high or too low. Another basic thing to check for is to be sure you're getting a good ground because if that circuit doesn't have a good ground, that can throw everything off. That's going to cause problems. So be sure you're getting a good ground. But the next thing that's going to cause this is some kind of wiring issue going on inside of that circuit. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0223 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.